In today's video, I'll be boarding a ferry from Hollyhead in Wales to Dublin Port in Ireland. My golf clubs and camera are at the ready to visit a Lynx golf course that has been redesigned and renamed. And I can't wait to show you why it is a must play on your next trip to Ireland. So finally, after four years, I get to return onto Irish soil and it couldn't be a better start. Today sees the opening of the Jameson Golf Links. And to be honest with you, it couldn't be a better place to return for my island sabbatical. Some incredible links, landscape, breathtaking backdrops, classic revetted bunkers with runoffs and swales in the finest links tradition. the odd pint of Guinness. Well, listen, I appreciate the no, warm no, welcome. Pleasure, Andy. If, pleasure. If, I hope you enjoy your round of golf. I hope so too, and if anybody uh, gets the pleasure of playing this course, if this man's on the starters or you're in short, a warm welcome. So, thank you very much. I've got my uh, lucky ball marker. Yes. I just hope I have a bit of a good knock and get one down that first. Now keep keep getting the birdies. Keep getting the birdies. What a start to the visit of Port Marnock. The drive was perfect. I played off the back tees because of how high and that elevated position was so nice. And then a 52 wedge into the middle of the green. We've got a putt to birdie to start the day. And following a great start to the round, a tee shot on the par three third set up birdie number two of the day. So I'm almost out of breath with excitement playing through those first five holes. It's, uh, I've already said 10 years since I played here, but more importantly, just to get back on Lynx turf. It is the major appeal to me in terms of the style of golf, I just love it. And over in Ireland, Lynx golf, well it's just in abundance. Good. That should be good. Right shape, we could be back in the fairway at least. Well, I got onto the green in regulation, but then as with any good Lynx track, th there's so much undulation in this green that uh, well, a two putt is a big ask. You can see a massive swing coming off the left hand side and uh, well, I'd take two from here any day. But just how good is Lynx golf? I'll take two from there and uh, I think that's got a lot to do with my lucky ball marker that I got in that little goodie bag that was given to us by our starter. There's got to be something in it. Apart from all the significant course changes since I was last here 10 years ago, there's one addition that I can't wait to try, and that's a new halfway house. And it'd be rude of me not to sample a Guinness. Uh, so, 
when you come off the course then we tell the visitors when they go across the bridge here and they look straight ahead at the house with the chimney pots. Yeah, that's beautiful. That was the is that the original the house. Jemison's built for yeah, that's back in the 18th gorgeous. 50s. Yeah, and the Jemison Bear is part of that house. Yes, and uh, we encourage people to go in. We'll have a few drinks later. Afterwards. Yeah, we just played a great stretch of hole seven and eight. Were so so good, but a big change is the introduction of the new ninth hole here at the Jemison's Links. And take a look behind me, and just see what revealed when I got to the top of the brow. It's a stunning par three and uh, the type of Lynx hole that has absolutely everything. I've got to be careful I don't stop and talk on every single hole on the way in because the 10th tee box is elevated position seeing the backdrop is just superb the changes that they've made here at the Jameson links are incredible elevated tee boxes elevated greens just take the course to a different dimension and it is proper top quality links what I'm looking down at right now you'll see very shortly is just a really inviting tee shot I'm gonna play it off the blues and I just can't wait to hit driver well, I can see a black and white marker, so that's our target. I've pulled it down the left. Turn a bit more. Turn a bit. Well, it's got a chance of sneaking that first cut. Just how good are those undulating fairways? So good, I got the camera out early the next morning. What a view to start your day. Green complexes have been incredible and uh, I just don't know how I've avo avoided that bunker. There's another one there that you can't see. I've had a bit of luck today. One, we've got no breeze and two, a ball stopping like this is pretty uh, unusual. But then I've got this rise and then a runoff down the slope. So yeah. You think I've duffed that, don't you? Watch this. Ah, almost. It kind of needed just a little bit of a nudge down there. Perhaps would have walked back for the putter. Might have been the more sensible thing when I seen just how severe that slope was. But uh, yet again, everything about what's been put together is uh, top quality links terrain. Oh, come on, be right be right oh I have no I have no idea if it's right but oh my god that was so enjoyable too wide ah what a slope that is though oh my word I can't think that I've smiled so much on a golf course for quite some time. And that's even when I've just raced one eight foot past. These greens are so pure, you don't need to worry.
this point, I was blown away as to how good this golf course is and can't remember having so much fun on a golf course for a long time. It was just a shame there was only one hole left to play. I don't know about you, but I love to finish any round of golf with a decent shot on the last. And I just want to finish this round at Jameson's Links with one decent pitching wedge into that green, hopefully with a birdie put to finish. The trouble is it doesn't always happen but on this occasion i've got what is looking like maybe six to eight foot to really round off this incredible day oh i just need uh we're a little bit more than six to eight foot so probably 10 foot by i think it comes off the right but i really do want to finish with that birdie if i can come on mez he's got it i think <laughs> oh wow everything that has gone my way today it really has and um i've got a huge smile on my face from start to finish it's been a long time since i've been in ireland and it was great to return first of all to a lynx track and uh, the jameson's lynx was beyond expectation to be honest with you some of the changes they've made were absolutely phenomenal and i just hope we've managed to do it justice on that camera I'm going to go in now, we're staying an evening uh, in the hotel, get something to eat and uh, maybe a few more Guinness and perhaps a little few Jamesons as well to uh, top it all off on what has been a fantastic day on my return to Ireland. I'm all done, I'll see you soon.